man-made um, climate change is, is a real thing. I, I don't doubt the science for a second. Well, COP26 has really brought climate change to the top of the agenda, but it's not just because of the focus on uh, the environment. We've also seen this year, since the pandemic, surging prices for commodities. We've seen supercharged demand coupled with a constrained supply, and that's pushed up prices of oil and gas. So now a lot more individuals and businesses are trying to look further afield for alternative energies. Well, Store Electric is a project and a technology development company, and it's using long-duration, large-scale storage to help renewables to continue to power the grid. Well, I think the unique thing about what Store Electric are doing is it, it fills that exact gap. So we can produce um, uh, more than enough energy for what we need as a country, probably through green uh, assets, wind, hydro, solar, way power, all this kind of stuff. When you're driving down the road and you see the wind turbines turning, and sometimes they're not turning because they've reached capacity. They've reached capacity because the grid is full and it can't take any more. Um, so what we do is store that energy that comes in from wind, from solar, and we have the capacity to store it. Use surplus or, or negatively priced electricity from the grid to compress air, which you store underground. You store it underground because it's impossible to build a cylinder big enough. And when you need the electricity again, you let it out, blow the turbine and uh, regenerate the electricity. We're taking oil and gas infrastructure, or it already exists, they're already using it, have been doing since the 70s. And um, essentially we then store it, release it into the grid as and when it's needed. And that's the update that the national grid in this country needs. And that gets us away from fossil fuels and it gets us away from imports. We're not inventing new technology. The technology that we're using, storage of uh, high-pressured air, um, electrolyzers, you know, green hydrogen production, they're, 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 they're proven technologies. So our technology, the concept of it has been running for about 30 or 40 years. We don't have to test it. Secondly, we're green. But we've also got the advantage of having solutions which can transition towards a greener technology if countries require it. Uh, and then thirdly, we're very efficient. So the original case plants that were built 30, 40 years ago, they have efficiencies of about 42%. We're between 65 to 70%. And in hybrid mode, uh, we're probably close to 80%. But our technology is more efficient, it's more flexible, and it's much more cost effective. And it's available right now. So we're the only company in the UK with this particular patent. So we've got a steal on the competition. This takes energy much more cheaply in much cheaper kits to be able to produce hydrogen much more cost-effectively. If we're going to meet net zero, so this is not just a question of the UK, but pretty much globally. Obviously, climate change is not a UK problem. If we're going to resolve the problem, it has to be resolved globally. Well, we've already identified probably 70 to 80 countries that have the right geology for us to implement our technology. So we can scale up, not just in terms of megawatts, we can also scale up in terms of countries. Yeah, we've seen ESG and climate change really blow up to the top of the agenda for businesses and individuals. And the whole world is trying to wean itself off fossil fuels and switch towards renewables. I think there's clearly a major shift towards renewable energies and there are big questions to answer about where we're going to get this energy and also how we're going to store it. We're seeing every automaker around the world build an electric car and the goal is for all of us to be driving electric vehicles in the next few years. So there needs to be real solutions to this battery storage problem. It is, it can be huge. It will be huge because there's so much need out there. And in fact, in my personal opinion, I don't know any technology out there in the world that will make a bigger difference to climate change. Yeah.